Hey y'all, Ileana Solar Dragon, and we're back with another part of Let's Play Star Stable. So I am here in the Winter Village on Hydrun for a few different reasons. The first is that, of course, it is update day, and we have a few new things. One is this snow bunny you can get, which I am seven wishes away from getting, um, unfortunately. <laughs> so I still have to work on that. I'll probably... I don't know when the next time I'm going to be able to record after today is. It's it's insanely busy right now. Um, the next thing is that we can ride some animals. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the stag because I love the stags. Oh, I have to mount? Weird. Okay. Um, stop it. Here you can stop your horse for an unusual animal to ride around on. There are no goals and you can ride as long as you want, but you may find these mounts more difficult to control than a horse. There may be some things that you won't be able to do while riding an animal, such as changing outfits. Bring the animal back to this place when you are done riding. <gasps> oh my gosh. This, <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm bouncing around so much. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to take a picture real quick. Okay, wait. I have to show this to my club. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I'm not sure if my eyes can handle doing this, so I might try, I might try the moose next. Let's go ahead and try that. Oh, so I'm still technically on my horse. Interesting. So let's go back. If I can click on it. And then let's try and get the moose instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Uh, I love it. Okay. Uh I have to find one I really want to ride. Um, let's bring you back for now. Stop it. Let's go ahead and try the bear real quick. I just want to see how you ride, because I don't want something that will hurt my eyes. Actually, this looks pretty cool. I'm going to keep the bear. That's not where I wanted to go. So I'm going to keep the bear for now. Let me try the doe real quick. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I have absolutely no clue which one I want to ride. Because I will be riding this for today's episode. <laughs> Let's try the doe. Because I'm not riding Yule Goat. Sorry. Just not going to happen. Actually, this... Okay, I'm riding the doe. I've decided. So, let's go up here and we'll go to Veildale to try out the new race, which I have not done yet. Okay, let's go to Veildale. And there is a new race we can do. <laughs> I'm sorry, the jumps looks hilarious. Where are you? I don't know where you are. 
Are you over here? Okay, you're down there. Oh, you're a big penguin. Jeez. No. Go. Flipper lets loose a series of excited squeaks and quacks while desperately trying to use his flippers to depict sliding on ice. It looks like he wants you to race down the frozen river. Oh my gosh. I get 700 XP. Let's try it. Um, I don't really like the icy races just because, I mean, they're not me. Where the heck am I supposed to go next? Underneath there? Am I going to fit? Guess so. Oh, there's a star right there. I forgot about that. And slide. It looks like you can't actually go on the sides. And we can jump. And jump. Okay, so it still does count as the hydron because I just heard the music change. Or the chain. No. Can I back up? Thank you. I just heard the. I'm going to go slow here because I think it's. Yep, it's pole bending. Um, as I was keep trying to say, I heard the music, the sound that signifies it changes from the magical form to, well, normal form to magical form, technically, since I was in normal form in Veildale. I don't know if I like this race. <laughs> Ooh, this is hard. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on. And jump. Okay. And jump. Don't run into the penguins, please. <clears throat> Actually, don't I have... Yep, I have my little penguin. Hope and penguins are skating. Don't run into the penguins. Thank you, thank you. And I ran into a penguin. Jump. Ooh, I hope this is over soon. <laughs> this is a long race, goodness. Where am I going? Where? Okay, I'm right there. Oh, fun! <laughs> Flapper looks ecstatic to see you. She claps her flip flappers in celebration. She's clearly trying to express that you have all the ice lighting grace of a master penguin. So that was the new race. <laughs> it I, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I just, I'm not, I know a lot of people like the ice. I, I really don't. It's annoying to me. Very frustrating. I just, I don't like it. I'm also probably going to switch back to Hydron real quick. <laughs> I'm actually going to stop right here and get the slush. I'm not going to cuddle any penguins. I'm just going to get the wish and move on. And drop. Really? 
Okay, yeah, this doe is hurting my eyes. <laughs> I need to switch back to my regular horse. So I'm going to go back to the Winter Village real quick. And ride down, of course. Whoops, dropped my phone. Okay. So I really can't ride one of those the entire video. It hurts way too much. It's so definitely a cool idea, I just, I can't. Okay, and I will get on the horse I actually intended to ride for this episode. Get on Dream here. And we will go to New Hillcrest to do a couple of quests, not too many, because um, I'm just not in the best. I don't know. <sighs> so let's talk to Natalie. Hope Ricky hasn't totally worn you out with all the training. He asked you to collect the sneakers he ordered for you, right? I'll grab them. I'll just grab them for you right now. They're really nice. First, do you want to say hello to one of my best friends? This is a lady. She's been my best and most loyal friend for almost 12 years. Even though she's not just a little foal anymore, she's a total ray of sunshine and full of energy. Don't be shy. Go up and say hello to lady. Pretty little horse. Seems like Lady really likes you. You and I should really take a ride together with Lady in the evening sometime. Or dream sometime, don't you think? Glad to hear you'd like that. I can't today, sadly. I have a little beginner coming to the stable earlier to try riding for the first time. I thought she might be able to take her first class test ride on Lady because I don't think there's a more careful or more understanding horse than her. She's always so sweet and so gentle with kids, so she's perfect to introduce the little ones when it comes to take a test ride. As soon as I grab the shoes for you, I'll, start, I'll get started with pairing, lady. Oh no, look, Ileana. Ivan Drake is coming. Ugh, I really don't like that man. Could you please stick around with me while we figure out what he wants? Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna have my seagull. Hello there, Natalie. You getting ready to move out of my stables? I heard Ricky wants to take part in the qualifiers for the district championship. <laughs> like that loser would ever have a chance. Natalie, it's probably best you start thinking about moving out of the stable so that me and my club, Total Destruction, can take over. I promise I'll use this place a lot more than that old paddock I won from Ricky last time. Like, who in the right mind would want to spend time there? When I won that old paddock from Ricky and told him he was never allowed to show his face there again, it was only because it was so fun to see him so sad. <laughs> it's amazing when people are all sad like that. Laughing at him in that state is the best thing ever. So this is the famous lady, huh, Natalie? Lady, lovely lady, who's so nice and kind. Can I pet the little fur bag? <laughs> yeah, no. Attack Ivan. <laughs> that horse is a crazy freak. What? No, I'm never scared of anything. Like I'd cry and shout for my mother just because of the dumb horse. Now, like, make sure you get a muzzle on that maniac. Otherwise, I'll be sending my lawyers to see you so hard. Do you think fried porridge is luxury? 
Just you wait, I'll be back. Ugh, Ileana, that idiot makes me so angry. So angry that I'm just shaking all over. I know I shouldn't let Ivan Drake have this effect on me. I should ignore what he says, but it's hard sometimes. Thanks for being here, Liana. You wonder what he was talking about? Yeah, uh, I understand that you're curious. Has Ricky said anything to you about the paddock that's just outside New Hillcrest? Hmm? He suggested you train there and then quickly changed his mind? You see, the old the paddock used to belong to him. Oh, I'd love to tell you more about it, but I need to get Lady ready before the students arrive. I don't know how I'll be able to groom her or get her ready considering I'm still shaking. You'll help? Oh, that's so lovely. Thank you, Ileana. Here, take my grooming brush and groom lady. I'll tell you more about Ricky and the paddock while you're at it. Thanks ever so much, Ileana. Has Ricky told you anything about his old trainer, Master Lucia? He has? You see, Master Lucia was the owner of a very old jiu-jitsu club called Eponakai. Back then, the focus of the club was on monitoring and evaluating the old techniques of the martial arts in that particular paddock. Master Lucia was one of the greatest jiu-jitsu artists of all time, which is why that paddock is so well known amongst those who practice jiu-jitsu. Ricky was lucky enough to have Master Lucia take him under her wing at an early stage, early age, and she trained him in the way of the horse, as it's called. When she started to get older, she asked Ricky if he would look after her club and paddock for her. Ricky was supposed to take her to the club and paddock until a new master came along, but nobody knew who that master was supposed to be. Master Lucia had faith in Ricky, but for Ricky to be master, he'd first have to win the Europe Championship. Ricky promised her he would, and then just a few weeks later, Master Lucia peacefully passed away. You don't need to be sad, Eliana. Master Lucia was a very, very old lady when she died. She slept peacefully and happily, and, not knowing what was coming next, welcomed the next part of life with open arms. Oh, time's flying by. Lady's hooves need scraping before the kids arrive. Oh, how nice of you to help me with this as well, Ileana. If you clean Lady's hooves, I can carry on with the story. Thanks. Now Lady just needs to be saddled and then everything's ready for my little student to arrive. Where was I? Ah, yes. Ricky had promised to take care of Master Lucia's old club and the paddock belonging to him, until a new leader for the club stepped up. Ricky, as you probably noticed, can have a huge amount of self-confidence and so entered the Yorick Championships, even though Master Lucia told him to wait a couple years until he was ready. The rest is history. Ricky lost the final of the championship and the person he lost against was none other than Ivan Drake. As well as his self-confidence, Ricky also lost the club and the paddock to Ivan. In the heat of the moment, he bet Ivan the paddock that he could beat him. If Ricky lost, Ivan would then own the paddock. Since the club lost his paddock, it's also lost its headquarters, and because Ricky had also become very withdrawn, the remaining members looked for other clubs to join, meaning the club was more or less disbanded. Sorry to stop again, I've almost calmed down, but I'll need Lady to be saddled so she's ready for the lesson. Thanks for helping me with this as well. I promise I'll finish the story this time. Bridal. And saddle. Thanks, Ileana. I'll continue now. There's not much of the story left. As you know, the years went by, and now I don't know what any of the club members are doing. I know that the only two who knew the way of the horse were Master Lucia and Ricky, who she taught because she wanted him to take over. Ricky seems to have lost a lot of his knowledge, but I really think you can help him find his way back. He's got it in there somewhere. He just needs a little help to get back on track. You've no idea how grateful I am that you're helping him. I think he's really grateful, too. Just doesn't ever think to say so. Even if the paddock is locked, it doesn't mean a ponakai has to be, too. Ricky can still save the club, the paddock, my stable, and even me if he wins such a competition. So thanks for training with him, Liliana. Oh, here are the sneakers. Take them back to Ricky and carry on where you left off. The qualifiers start soon, so there's no time to lose. <clears throat> so now let's go back up to Ricky. Oh, this is the day of the qualifiers. Um, this might be a little bit of a longer episode, but oh well. And 
and I went the wrong way. Oh no, this isn't the qualifiers yet. I think that's tomorrow. Hey, you took your time. Are these mine now? Guess so. What were you and Natalie up to? Oh, you have to prepare a lady for her lesson? That's nice of you. Oh, she told you about the paddock at New Hillcrest? Well, I suppose it was just as well you found out. Anyway, enough about the old days. We got training to do. The qualifiers start soon, and I need to get the tip-top shape for them. I think I've remembered all the ways of the horse thanks to studying you and Dream. So change into your sneakers, and we'll sit down and get started with a little meditation to clear our mind before you train. There we go. I feel focused and ready to go. Don't you? Okay, so Natalie's already told you about a whole lot of stuff about Master Lucia and Eponikai. So you'll know that the focus of Eponikai is on the way of the horse. If you read, just watch a horse in action, we'll see that it will run from danger, preferably in a herb. That's why we get the best defense tactics in Georgetsu. Nothing can break through them. I thought we could start with one of those techniques. It's the brush. I'll show... I'll try my best to show you we can do so we train together. The brush simply means you brush away the enemy in their attack. It's really easy. Just imagine you're brushing Dream, and instead of having a brush and a horse, you've got somebody trying to attack you. Come on, Ileana, let's get brushing. That's great, exactly like that. That was a great start. We may as well move straight on to the next technique. What? You think we should go a little more slowly? Now, nah, why? That was really good. I remembered the brush. Don't need to practice more than that. It will be fine as it is. We can move right away with the defense tactic called the feed. Smart, Ileana. You've got it already. Just like you said, the feed works like you're feeding a horse, just without any horse or any food. Just try and copy me and remember to keep your arms up, even if it feels like you're getting cramps. Come on, just a little bit more. <laughs> Look, looks like you started to cramp up a little there, Ileana. You're a natural, though. You get everything so quickly. You don't need to be worried, Ileana. Why well, do we need to go over this more than once? If you get it kind of 80% right the first time, then that's enough, I think. <laughs> it's only the qualifiers after all, and it'll all go perfectly now that I remember all the techniques of the way of the horse. Nobody's going to be able to touch me. The next tech we'll look at is the hoof pick. This isn't a defensive tactic like the others. It's an uh, offensive move that makes your competitor completely confused. Sometimes they even like, just sit down because they've got no idea what's going on, so get ready to be confused. You already know how to do this. Exactly. What you'd usually do with a hoofpick, hoof just without a hoofpick or a horse. Follow me and we'll get started. Oh, goodness. Okay, um... <laughs> oh, this is just so hilarious to me. <laughs> This is going really well. I'm remembering everything. Remember when I told you that Master Lucia made me spend weeks in the stable during my school break just so I could learn to muck out and tidy up? She did that so I'd be able to learn one of the key techniques, one of the hardest, called the mucking. It took me years to learn, so don't be sad if you don't get it right away. The mucking techniques can be done in many different ways, just like ordinary stable mucking, mucking out can be done in different ways. You're wondering how many different ways you can show a manure? The possibilities are limitless, Liliana. You can throw it up in the air and try to catch it in a wheelbarrow, or you can pile it up into a big mountain of dung, or you can... Why are you looking at me like that? Let's just start with the mucking instead. Come on, Eliana. <laughs> uh, man, they really took a lot of pulp culture, pop culture into this. <laughs> A good start, but you clearly need more practice at this. Like I said, it took me a pretty long time before I nailed it. Oh, I didn't. I don't think I need to train anymore now. I'm pretty tired, actually. What do you think about having a few moments of meditation and we can call it a day? You think we need to train more? Take it easy. Don't. Didn't you see how well I was doing just now? Now nah, I'll meditate a little now, and then I'm going home to prepare my diet. Didn't I tell you I'm on the chips diet now? Chips are from potatoes, and potatoes are healthy. Everyone knows that. Plus, they're salty, and you need salt in your body if you're sweating and it tastes nice too. It's up there at the best, most healthy diets. Stop nagging me about a varied diet. Varied balanced diet. I still think that my diets are better than your crazy fad. Enough of that now. Let's cool down with some stretches and meditation. Now 
Nice training session, Eliana. Thanks. Now I'm going to get home and relax my chips. I'll probably see you later. Now it's time to get ready for the qualifiers. Here's a vest that you can use whenever you want to train a little extra. Looks great with the sneakers, doesn't it? Here you go. Have a great day. See you soon. Yeah, no. That looks so weird. Where's my horse? And that, I believe, is a time block on that quest. Yep. So, I'm actually going to stop for now. Um, this is going to be the end of the episode. Thank y'all so much for watching, and if I stop yawning, I will see y'all in the next part. See you later. Bye.